je sais, je, 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 je. I don't know. <laughs> I have always fun. That's my thing. <laughs> Are you filming how good driver I am? <laughs> this is Pori swimming pool, downtown area, my home arena, high school. We are kind of a hockey family because I've been playing and I've been coaching and his brother is playing. He's always been my best friend and I've been always his best friend. Everything is little competition. Who is eating quicker, running faster. Jesper is better in table tennis than me. That's not fun. Oh, yes. Yeah. Je suis, je, je, Je suis, je suis, je suis, de Canadien de Montréal. OK, that's it for my friends. <laughs> Perfect. Bonjour, Yesperi. Nous voulons tout savoir à ton sujet. Pori is a small place, 80,000 people. I have been here my whole life. Pori is super calm. That's a traffic in here when there's uh, five cars in a row. People are, oh my god, go, go! <laughs> During the summer, the sun don't go down at all. I think it's, it's fun. The Finnish guys like to go take a beer or a few. <laughs> at least it's not dark when they come home, so... <laughs> We're going to check my old school. I might go back there someday. <laughs> going through my first pro year in the Finnish league, I was uh, still in the school. Sometimes I was too tired to do my homework, so uh, <laughs> they didn't like that. <laughs> Finland won the cold in the World Championship. <laughs> the whole Finland went super crazy. Yeah. Everyone was celebrating like three days in a row. Oh. At the winter, the light is coming out maybe for one hour. <laughs> it's pretty dark. <laughs> like in Montreal, everyone's following hockey. I think that's uh, pretty much the only thing that we have in here. This arena is super special for me. It's beautiful. I played my first pro games here for Orenasa, uh, that's the hometown team. The standing part is a legendary in Finland. All the away teams hate that. In the old good days, people were throwing some stuff to the bench when they wasn't happy. If you're not doing too well, you can see the people are super crumpy. Quand est-ce qu'as-tu eu l'inspiration pour devenir un joueur de hockey? My dad is a former hockey player. He took me and my brother a few times to skate with him. It's just clicked. I just love the game. My dream was pretty much to uh, just be a hometown legal player. I think the kids don't dream so much of the NHL over here. It's uh, more to be just a Finnish league. He's been always playing the same team than his brother. He's one year older. I think it's helped a lot. I was the youngest guy on the team. They treat you like that, so you don't get too cocky. I think that's good. I was 14 when I went with the U20 team. Everybody starts laugh for him. But it takes three months and he was on the team. So he took the place there. It was the same thing in the men's team. Jesper is not a typical Finnish person. He talks a lot. When he first came to our locker room, he was just like the, one of the guys there. He met everyone right at the first moment. I think smile works. <laughs> if you are a little bit dumb or not, but uh, <laughs> that works in every situation. When he went to NHL, to the training camp, I knew that he's gonna take the place. Because every time when somebody has given him a chance, 
to take him in taking that. Qu'est-ce que les gens en Finlande font que nous on fait pas ici? I think sauna is one of the biggest things. I have been here. <laughs> we use it every day, maybe twice in a day. Here we usually have sauna parties. I like that too. It's just uh, relaxing and uh, I don't know. It gets me asleep a little bit. Oh yes. And you can watch the game too. What a combo. You can do whatever you want here. <laughs> we have a little bit difference in culture between Finland and Canada. Oh, the boys are hungry. Eating restaurants, you don't do that too much in Finland, so I think that was, uh, I think, the biggest thing for me. <laughs> I like more when I eat home. It's uh, Home food is always the best one. For sure, he'd been growing up for that year. One year before the draft, he didn't even speak, not much English. Yes, Perry, cut Kanemi. I heard that uh, they are looking for center, so uh, I hope, hope, hope that they, they, they choose me and uh, they choose, so... Uh... Qu'est-ce qui t'a manqué chez ton frère? We just hang with each other every day. We're kind of best buddies. Our grandfather said to our father, what is wrong with your boys because they are not never fighting. <laughs> Some people expect that he was changed because he was playing one year in NHL and they think that he was something different when he came back to Pori, but no. He's stayed the same guy. Nothing arrogant, not at all. I like him very much. When you have that kind of status, you just uh, need to be careful. Just uh, need to think what you do. I think stay humble, treat everyone that way that you treat before. <laughs> Not too much crowd here. <laughs> this big boy over there, he's my cousin. He's three years old. His number is pretty sick. Oy! He's like Yomi. <laughs> he's uh, crazy about hockey. He will be my future lineman for sure. <laughs> I think family is everything for me. Qui est ton joueur préféré des Canadiens de Montréal à part toi? Shea Weber. He's a great guy on the ice. He's the uh, biggest leader that I have ever seen. He's even better guy off the ice. It's Shea Weber. When I came in the locker room first time, he came to talk to me, and I think that's a pretty big thing. <laughs> Kids just don't get it. This summer is kind of new to me. My first time practicing alone. Usually in Finland, the teams practice whole summer together. My coach is my dad. Of course, I need a more power and strength in my body. I'm working with that. There's a pretty big guys in the NHL. I don't want to be the smallest one next year. When I came in the development camp, I were around 184. Now I'm around 200, so... Uh, there's some growing happening. My dad knows pretty well what to do with me. If you yell him so much, it doesn't happen, nothing. You have to always say him what he have to do better and how can he be better. Then you have to leave the key for him that he can understand himself. He probably gets me on fire. It's sometimes a little bit annoying. They know that I've been coaching 15 years and that they trust me what I'm doing. Sometimes they ask me, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> but I think they are just, I think they are just tired too. <laughs> Gerd is our spinning coach and core coach. If I'm crazy, Gerd is uh, kind of crazy too, and uh, two crazies are a great combo. <laughs> I'm struggling big time here. Est-ce que tu as une copine? <laughs> wow, what a question. <laughs> uh, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't have a girlfriend. Um, I think my life situation is... I'm not, not ready for that yet. I need to wait a few years. 
I have friends. That's enough for me at the moment. Most of my friends are, of course, hockey players. They are my junior teammates. They're still playing in Finland. They sometimes ask some advices, and they love that I'm in the NHL. He's a loyal friend. That's his best quality, of course. Hi, just Beery. It's uh, Victor Mette here. Um, there's one question I have to ask you. I just want to know if uh, you miss me. <laughs> Yeah, hi, Victor Mete. <laughs> uh, yeah, I miss Victor. He's uh, he's a good guy. Uh, he, he does weird stuff a lot, but uh, yeah, he's a funny guy to be around. <laughs> hi, I'm Victor Mete, and this is just Barry. They put us in the same room when the season started, and uh, we almost did everything together. This is pretty mint. Pretty mint. Super mint. Pretty mint. Yeah, it's pretty mint. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's. Sounds good with everything. <laughs> Can you say that in French? Mint? I can't. Do you know that? What is it? C'est. C'est. Juste. Juste. Parfait. Parfait. C'est juste. Parfait. You got it. Et tu un bon cuisinier? I'm pretty average cook. I do my best, you know, spaghetti. Spaghetti with meat sauce is my favorite, and I always do that. <laughs> I think everyone likes spaghetti. That's good for everyone. <laughs> I didn't know it's my mom coming next year. Probably uh, she's coming for a few weeks. <sighs> At least I can eat well those times. <laughs> <laughs> yes, buddy. The final thing before you leave back to Montreal is that your mom is gonna give you the cooking lesson. <laughs> if we make meatballs, then that will be fun. <laughs> we hopefully gonna make here chicken and rice, I guess. <laughs> it was a little bit shocking the move from Montreal first from Pori. The change is really, 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 really big. My mom helped me the most. She was living with me all year. She was cooking me all year. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. When you come home after every game and every practice, you know that someone's waiting over there and uh, it just makes yes. every place feel like home. Voila, it's beautiful. Oh, cheese. You like it? I don't. More? I'm not eating. I'm making food here. Oh. <laughs> A little bit more. I don't know which one is bigger, my first NHL goal or this. <laughs> my dream is now to be one of the best players in NHL. Now I'm average NHL players. I don't want to be average. I hope I will a little bit bigger role on the team. Hopefully do a little bit more points. I wasn't uh, too happy last year. I'm sure that he's thinking about that he has to be a little bit better. And it's the second year and everybody's talking about the second year curse. But I think he's gonna handle well on that. Very good, very good. That's really good. Yeah. Very good. You just have to live day by day. It's just perfect. <laughs> Vous avez aimé ce que vous venez de voir? Eh bien, abonnez-vous à notre chaîne pour voir d'autres contenus tout aussi intéressants.